All right, guys, last episode we finished uh, doing our tributes and making our guy aimbot, um, and we just decided we're not going to do the hardcore mo. Sorry if you wanted to see that, but we didn't want to have us die like 40 times. And um, so, yeah, we're going to head out into the world. I don't actually know what's going on, so I'm going to have Austin tell you because I don't play this game. This is all Austin. Uh, so, well, right now, this is Good Springs, which is basically like... I'm guessing it's like the megaton of New Vegas, and uh, it's basically just like this really western town out in the middle of nowhere. I'm just gonna go talk to this robot here. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? He's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is this is the guy who dug you out of the grave from the beginning cinematic. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. So is that supposed to be him on his chest, like that little dude? Is that supposed to be what he looks like? Uh, I really, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I really don't know. Just robots with a personality. Uh, so I'm just going to ask him a few questions here, but I'm just going to kind of skim over it. Uh... Basically, I'm going to do this for every single person just to get information out of them, but the gist of it is nobody really knows who got you. Yeah. Can't say that I'm... <laughs> so we're just going to skip it. <laughs> well, I'm just kind of r reading over it. Why does his voice got so much deeper there? <laughs> that was funny. Uh, so how, okay, so back to this question, I think I asked you that you never got to answer. Like how, how far after this, when did the nuke go off and how far after this is that? Oh, nice, nice punch right there. Oh, you're, you're like a pro right there. MMA, watch out. Um, storyline wise, I don't know what year this takes place in, but I'm pretty sure the Fallout universe is just like, uh. After World War Two, China didn't like us, and they decided to nuke us, and, like, our society just kind of stayed in that, like, retro 50s kind of look. That's why everything still looks really old. And uh, it wasn't only China, it was, like, a bunch of other nations, and they everybody just kind of nuked each other. You know, we had a great time over it. And that's that's kind of just where the game is right now. Yeah, it's it looks a lot like uh, some of the like loading screens look look a, lot, look a lot like Bioshock, and so are you just are you just going around and getting some stuff to sell so you can have some caps when you're getting to town or something? Yeah, that's generally just what I'm gonna do. I'll just pick up anything really. How uh like do you have how much stuff do you have to pick up a lot to get over encumbered? That's what it means when you have yeah just explain over encumbered because. I don't know if a lot of people know what that is if they haven't played this before. Uh, over encumber is basically just uh, you have a weight limit based on your endurance, I think, or maybe strength. And if you just have every single what every single uh, item in the game has a weight amount, and so if you go over that weight amount, then you just move extremely slow, and it's really annoying. Yeah, that was up at that top like weight one sixty seven out of two hundred. So is this guy the uh, like the salesman or something? Yeah, this guy's like the merchant of this place. Chet, he looks like us. He's an Asian brethren. <laughs> uh, okay, so this guy just kind of tells you about special kinds of ammo, which is new to Fallout, or at least new to Fallout Three. Yeah, and um. So basically, you can buy normal rounds. You can buy uh, armor piercing, hollow points, and there's some other little types, but I don't know the specifics. And basically, they just do better against certain enemies. Do you like that they have a bunch of new types of ammo, or are you just kind of like, I want one type of ammo, makes it a lot easier? I'm definitely, I don't know, I definitely like just the one type of ammo. But I can see how this puts a lot more strategy into the game. But I think regardless, most of the time I'm just going to be shooting people with one kind of bullet. I heard you talk about it at school, though. Like, uh, 
some of the armor they have blocks it. So what are you gonna do in that case then? I'll just shoot them more. <laughs> 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 I just have to make sure I have enough ammo, I guess. All right. So we might get in some funny situations if we're just shooting a guy whose bullets are bouncing off. So can you still go? I think you could, you could go into third person in Fallout Three, couldn't you? Yep. There was the answer to my question. Number twenty-one. Aimbot. Look for him online. God, this guy's just got the power. So, Easy Pete. Um, that's what the ladies call him, if you know what I mean. That was bad. <laughs> so, what were you looking at right there? Uh, that was just the map. I was just seeing if the objective was in here or not. Oh, she's a lucker. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was good. That was really good. <laughs> oh my god. That was that was yeah, awesome. So the, does this become your girlfriend or something in the whole game? Uh yeah, totally. Can can you tell? Oh, sweet Sunny Smiles. I've always wanted a girl named Sunny. <laughs> Sunny Smiles. And then we have like the only unnamed NPC. Or not NPC, but just like AI guy in this entire town that I've seen so far. Good Springs Settler. Yeah. Uh, he's 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 really important. <laughs> Our hands look kind of orange, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, well, I guess we are Asian. Oh, that sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's yeah. nothing. Whoa, you got a shotgun. Wait, what kind of gun is that? That's just a rifle. Here we'll see if Aimbot has Aimbot. That's the right idea. Look down the side. Try crouching down in tank. Nice shots. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you can see Aimbot. I gotta go chase Gex. Follow me. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna follow her. Kill these things called geckos. With her dog. How's Cheyenne doing right there? It's pretty good. Look how, like, weirdly slow motion it runs. Some long bounds right here. It <laughs> <laughs> just like stop and look at you, then keep going. I like the bolt action rifle though. I love. I don't know. I just feel like really cool when I use a bolt action gun. That's why I use the intervention in Modern Warfare Two. How f how far away are the geckos? They're pretty far out here, actually. Uh, I'm just not, I don't know, I'm just trying to pace myself. I can just, like, go run up to them, but I don't know exactly where they are. Can you get on top of those mountains? Uh, yeah, but knowing me, I'd probably die, because I'd fall off. <laughs> base jumping! Sorry. The base jumping cow! Oh, Minecraft, good days, good days. So is this where the geckos are? Uh, yeah, they're supposed to be there, but I don't know where they are. Has Sunny Smiles not triggered them yet to spawn yeah, or something? To to Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Of Let's go. Okay, so basically, she's like, "This is how you crouch," <laughs> <laughs> and uh, her dog can't crouch, unfortunately. Okay, you're on. Look yeah. at him. Oh, aimbot time. <laughs> yeah, this is aimbot. Uh, only I can do this. No, just just kidding. This is Vats. You didn't even have to bolt your sniper. Or, I mean, not your sniper, your gun. Oh, there we go. There we go. There was the... Oh! No scope! Yeah, there's a little cinematic sometimes if you kill people without going into Vats now. Which is pretty... It's pretty creative. We're going to end this episode right here after we kill those geckos, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode coming out tomorrow. Peace.